When it comes to scammers, they're often in constant search of their next victim. Yep, tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprecia is digging deeper into the way criminals use people's information and share that info with other people looking to take advantage as well. Ever wonder why you seem to be inundated with robocalls and endless phishing scams? Well, here's why. Ah, yes, ah, yes. You know, there's one born every minute, and I have the list to prove it. It's yeah. difficult to estimate the number of scams out there, but many of them predate the Internet and are updated using current events to hook you in. This is an old ploy that's been going on for decades. It's nothing new. For we move forward with the legal procedure. Whether it's a robocall fishing for information or a fake Ukrainian war victim charity, scammers watch closely to see who responds. Once you respond uh, to these types of emails, the threat actors then know that somebody is alive on the other side. And scammers are not acting alone or in a vacuum. Is there a so-called suckers list that the scammers pass among themselves and say, hey, this person is a good target for anything? Sure, I think, you know, at the end of the day, the ransomware groups um, are, you know, loose affiliations. The people move from group to group, and they're going to take information like that with them. These criminals are patient. They'll bide their time, waiting for the right moment to strike again. It may be scams that come from different email addresses months and years down the road. So let voicemail pick up the phone calls and don't respond to emails or offerings which come your way via social media or email. Experts' best advice, be cynical about all emails you receive and don't try and engage a robocaller thinking, I'll teach them to mess with me. Just ignore it. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher.